Hey everyone, Christina here at Weisenbaker Homestead. Um, so I'm gonna follow this intro up with a video of um, our most recent harvest from the garden, but I'd like to give a prelude and I guess kind of an encouragement to anybody who has health struggles, um, disabilities, Anything that keeps you from being as attentive to a garden as you'd like to be or as most people are able to be. Um, so our season this year started out pretty rough. Um, I had big plans for a garden. This was going to be our first time gardening in Tennessee. Um, and so a lot of learning curves come with that as you guys probably know in different areas. And um, so we had big plans and we tilled up the area that we wanted to garden in. We had all the seeds we wanted um, and I started getting sick. So I'll try to spare you guys most of the details because um, this is more for you and not so much about me. But so I ended up with pleurisy, which is just inflammation in my chest cavity. And that was followed up by um, a neck injury, which was provoked by being bedridden from the pleurisy, um, which the neck injury, um, a lot of different health issues followed up with that from my shoulder, some nerve damage um, that affects my arm and causes chest pain and back pain and neck pain. and. Um, I ended up with costochondritis, which is inflammation of the sternum, and so just all of these different ailments kind of um, one after another without any rest. And I'm still battling that. It's September 7th, um, and so that was the entire growing season. And so I'll show you guys kind of where we started with the garden. Um, and was it perfect? No. There was a lot of failures, um, which some of them are kind of funny, but it still produced. Um, I ended up, we ended up with okra, cucumbers, some corn, we've got carrots growing, um, beans, Pumpkins? Yeah, I'm excited about the pumpkins. Um, and so just all these different things. And so I guess my encouragement to you would be not to let that stop you. Do what you can. Um, and in that, know that God gives the increase. Um, we labor, we plant the seed, and God will give the increase. And even if you just have... I mean like a couple five gallon buckets of crops that's amazing go for it keep going um and so it's really it's just amazing to sit back and look at god's creation and just how glorious it is and it all declares the glory of god um and so Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of encouragement through my struggle and um, not to let it stop you. And I mean, these natural foods are good for us. And so just do any little bit that you can. So I will go ahead and link or attach those videos so that you can see our harvest, see kind of where our garden began, where it ended up. Um, and... I hope you guys enjoy and if any of you guys have any encouraging words or um, stories that you'd like to share of your health struggles and um, just what you were able to do in that feel free to comment below um, that way we can just encourage one another
of the season for the garden. Um, and we didn't have a whole lot of success because I was sick a lot through it. Um, still kind of battling through some of that. But we did a little bit of a harvest today. Um, and one that I'm really excited about is our little carrot. <laughs> There's still a whole bunch in the garden. We're going to let them grow a little bit more. Um, this is the first time we've ever grown carrots. So if you guys have tips, you can definitely throw them down in the comments. Um, we know how we're going to do it a little bit differently next year because of just, um, just the experience that we've gained this year through it. Um, but it's still really exciting and I can't wait to bite into it. worth it. Um, so one thing, I will probably put a clip on this of why we don't have any tomatoes. Um, you'll enjoy that. So here I am thinking I did a terrible job with my tomatoes and then this is what I find. Look at that bad boy. Decimated my tomato plant. But it'll be a good treat for the chickens. We have gotten a lot of cucumbers, um, but our cucumber is about done for, and um, we got our one last cucumber. It is overripe. The soil wasn't fantastic, and so, and I think this variety of um, cucumber kind of goes from not ripe yet to overripe really quick, and so um, a lot of our cucumbers have been a little orangish yellowish um, but we've gotten a lot of good pickles out of them so I mean I'll eat it okay so here are the pickles that we've made from the cucum cucumbers in the garden um, like I said before they're a little overripe so some of them kind of look like oranges but they taste fantastic um, and this recipe is so good and so I will link it below in the description um, so feel free to go to it they make amazing amazing pickles um, and this isn't all we've all we've made I've eaten some and I've given some to friends um, so probably our cucumbers were the most prosperous they can grow anywhere so grow them. we got a whole bunch of mustard greens um, which I'm really excited um, I planted a lot a lot more greens um, we planted mustard greens, spinach, collards, um, lettuce, all sorts of stuff. The most of what we got was mustard greens. And this was the first time I've ever planted mustard greens and ate mustard greens. And it was, it was really good. It's got like a spice to it. It's good to kind of spice up your salad a little bit. Um, but because we didn't get any lettuce, none of the lettuce survived this year. Um, so I bought salad mix that's in the fridge, which I'm going to mix this with, um, and it's going to make it taste much better. So we got a lot of those. Um, we also, so this is not from today's harvest. Um, but we also planted radishes, um, and they weren't very successful either. But um, there's a few of them that we got. Um, this is probably one of the best ones that we got. Um, and I have eaten a few of them out of the garden so far. The rest of them I just pulled up and gave to the chickens. They enjoyed them, so they were worth something. Um, we also planted a whole bunch of, well, I say a whole bunch, but a handful of lima beans. Um, some of them survived, some of them didn't, so we replaced those with green beans. Um, we haven't gotten a whole lot of green beans yet, but 
I'm wondering if maybe because it's starting to cool off. I know our lima bean is our lima beans are um, starting to actually produce more now. So I'm wondering if the green beans are going to do the same. I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of getting a feel for this garden thing. Definitely, this is the first year we've gardened in Tennessee. Um, our last time gardening was in New Mexico, and that was a whole nother story. But, um, so we got a whole bunch of, I say a whole bunch, I've seen a whole bunch. This is a couple handfuls of um, lima beans, but they, I'm expecting a whole lot more. There's a lot of blossoms on it, so that'll be good for Helen because I don't eat lima beans. I might try them because I grew them, but Kellen will like them. Here's one of our little green beans. It's a little yellowish. I've heard that that is um, because of a uh, nutrient deficiency in the soil. Could be wrong. I don't know. You tell me. Um, they're kind of curly and they're a little yellowish. Um, but my first time planting green beans also. Yellow beans. So our okra. <laughs> Um, I've been harvesting regularly off the okra plants and they are booming. I will have to take a picture and um, show you guys. They're doing fantastic. Even though I haven't been able to upkeep the garden a whole lot, um, it's, they're doing fantastic. Like they don't need anything. You just gotta like throw them out there and they're good. Um, and so I haven't harvested in the last couple weeks because I've, health-wise, I've kind of been down a little bit um, with a neck injury. And they got a little big. And so I will show you my okra. Here's one. <laughs> um, I can't wait to try them. I don't know if because they got so big, they might not be as good. I don't know. I will let you know. Um, but I mean, I'm excited to to dig into them. That one might be actually bigger. I don't have a ruler or I would measure it for you guys. Um, but yeah, we've been getting a lot of good okra. Um, oh, so I said that that was our last cucumber, but this is actually our last cucumber. It's so cute. Um, but that's definitely going to be our last harvest for the cucumber. I went ahead and pulled it because all the leaves are dying. It's on its way out. I figured might as well get a little green, green one. Um, but that is it for this harvest. Okay, so there's the okra, the booming okra that I was telling you guys about. It is fantastic. Feel free to ignore the dying vines that going that are going around it. That's part of the pumpkin and the cucumber. Um, that was a little trellis that I made, that, well, Kellen made for the cucumbers. That is our dying corn, which it did produce a little bit, um, which was really good. We grilled it up and then gave some to the chickens. <laughs> there in that middle patch is our carrots. They are still going strong. Um, let's see, here is one of our pumpkins, kind of hiding through the weeds there. As you can tell, it's not pretty, like we didn't, I wasn't able to keep up with the weeds. Um, and some of my brothers and sisters in Christ, um, actually came over and helped me pick some of the weeds so that they wouldn't smother my crops. Um, there's another pumpkin over there. I have to get it around from the back. Um, but that's what the church is for. You know, we kind of pick one another up when we're down. We provoke one another to love and good works and we take care of each other. Um, and that's what they did for me. I'm so thankful for them. Let's see, here our the tomatoes that never grew because of the hornworm. So that's fun. That was a good, it's, it was a good learning experience, definitely. Um, these are 
the lima beans and green beans they are doing good one of them we just harvested the other day and then there's one with a whole bunch of blossoms on it so we will get some more from it soon and if you kind of look there that's a remainder of some of the pumpkins and then we will come over here to that other pumpkin this one is going to be the one that's ripest the first or the will be ready to pick soon i'm so excited Like I said, I will put some um, pictures or um, maybe just an explanation of like how the garden's going, our process in getting the garden going, um, and then kind of the story behind why it um, got left a little bit. But I mean, it's it's still producing. <laughs> and maybe a fall garden coming. Yes, hopefully a fall garden. So I. We have talked about getting a fall garden together, and then I'm also interested in starting an herb garden. I think that is going to be a lot of fun, especially with different teas and stuff. So if you've guys got suggestions for that, or um, I, I'm happy to hear what you guys have to say or any suggestions. Thanks for watching.